Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, uh, as fast because we don't have one. Feel bad, give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a game that's been out for years and years. How many? Uh, a couple years, who cares? Uh, we, of course, are talking about the one and only Cuphead. So, Cuphead, what can be said about this one? Well, uh, first and foremost, what can be said about it is, we have not beaten this game, uh, you know, we actually... Only recently have just gotten to the third aisle, or uh, third island, or whatever you want to call it, the third land, the third world, you go past the dice guy, whatever. Uh, but man, Cuphead, does it stand the test of time, and is it still very playable to this day and point in time? The answer to that, obviously, is a resounding yes. Yes, it is very playable, it stands the test of time, and, uh, you know, the biggest thing about this game, and, you know, you can say, uh, you know, the difficulty level is extreme, uh, you know, it's definitely a uh, frustrating at time play experience, or a who designed this fucking boss play experience and stuff of that nature, uh, but, man, inevitably, the biggest thing about this game is, is it is fair. It is fair across the board. If you do something, uh, you know, and, and use a wrong ability or a wrong move or platform in the wrong area, that's inherently on yourselves. There's times or whatever, of course, you know, you'll you'll do a couple good runs, man, unless you're, a, you know, all-star at the game, which a lot of folks are. We've seen some playthroughs. You crazy bastards. You're too good. Uh, but, you know, uh, there's, there's inevitably or whatever just a great, great, experience that is behind that difficulty level and the more you work at it the more you get better at it and stuff the more enjoyable it is and when you do get those final payoff moments when you do collect a soul contract or anything like that it is a nice feeling uh you know of of pride and accomplishment hmm, couple companies look for that in their games uh but man cuphead definitely stands the test of time definitely uh you know worth a play to this day uh we look forward to more uh you know getting our ass handed to us from the game uh you know down the line and stuff of that nature uh but you know it's just inherently a super fun play uh and definitely still uh like we said stands the test of time still still uh great and you know hell one day you know if we stick with it we might actually beat it we might not and that's okay okay because man uh you know we got it on a little sale or whatever i want to say like 15 bones uh and we definitely have uh recouped 15 bones worth of uh you know uh good times from it and stuff and then some uh so you know yeah whoever the developers and stuff are on it and stuff uh you know i don't know maybe we should have researched that but who cares uh give us a shit ton of money and uh you know some cool ass cuphead products you got to have stuff that didn't sell back when it first came out or something send us some cool free shit. Uh, mainly everyone else, send us some money. Uh, so, Cuphead, standing the test of time, still being playable and fun to this day. What can be said about you? Well, you get a good old-fashioned A for absolutely, because it absolutely is. Uh, still worth a play, and it absolutely does. Stand the test of time, and it absolutely is still worth a play, which I think we already said, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? Extra crappy content for you. You're welcome. Give us money. Anyhow, have a great one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.